One of the first guests here at Hearst Castle was a man of Japanese descent. His name was Seshu Hayakawa. He was considered to be an Ishii or first generation Japanese American coming to America. His family was wealthy, they were considered aristocratic, and he was part of the samurai class. Seshu would become known as perhaps the first Hollywood heartthrob and bad boy during the silent film era in Hollywood. Today he is still recognized as the first Asian American superstar and sex symbol of America's cinema. Only recently have a few Asian American actors made the superstardom level that he had achieved. Seshu was good friends with Marion Davies, William Randolph Hearst's companion, with whom, along with many of her Hollywood friends, would come up to the castle as guests in the latter 20s and the 1930s. Seshu rivaled in popularity and wealth with the likes of Charlie Chaplin and John Barrymore, and he co-starred with many of the leading ladies of that time. His rise to fame came after producer Chom Thomas Ince discovered him in Hollywood, typecasting Seshue in his films as the villainous antagonist. He would soon be propelled to stardom for his role in Cecil B. DeMille's film The Cheat in 1915. The movie would make him the heartthrob of millions of women around the world before Rudolph Valentino. At the height of his career in the 1920s, like William Randolph Hearst, Seshu also had a castle, a castle-like mansion in Hollywood called Glengarry Castle, and he would, like Hearst, entertain his guests, sometimes hundreds at a time. He drove a gold-plated Pierce Arrow automobile and liked gambling, sometimes recklessly gambling in extravagant places like Monaco. In 1956, the Shuey's Hollywood home would be torn down. It became the site of the Franklin Avenue on-ramp to the newly built Hollywood Freeway. During the 1910s, the 20s, and the 30s, there was extreme prejudice against Asian Americans in the United States, especially Japanese. Being that Seshu Hayakawa played a lot of negative roles in films, he was not happy with that. He and his wife, Tesuro Aoki, started their own production company and made their own films, casting Asian Americans in better light. Seshu Hayakawa went back to Japan and made a few films there, but would return back to the United States in the 30s. Later on in the 1930s, though, he would move to France. By this time, America's attitude towards Asians became intolerable, especially since the Japanese were considered an adversary of the United States. Seshu made a few pictures in France and was known to have helped the French resistance during the war. After World War II, Seshu Hayakawa would return to the United States and make a few more movies and made appearances on TV shows. He was in Disney's Swiss Family Robinson and the movie Tokyo Joe with Humphrey Bogart. He was also in Jerry Lewis's The Geisha. His most remembered part was portraying a Japanese colonel in the World War II movie The Bridge Over the River Kwai, earning Seshue an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. He retired from acting in 1966 and went back to Japan and became a Zen priest and also gave acting lessons. He would pass away in 1973. Although his movies are mostly forgotten today except for the ones that he made in the 1950s, Seshu Hayakawa is still remembered as someone that attributed a lot towards Asian Americans in the film industry. No one has achieved as much fame and fortune as he has in his time and for decades to follow.